Hey everybody and welcome to our Wednesday devotional. Uh, today I want to talk about what we were talking about on Sunday uh, during our sermon series about the way of Jesus. The way of Jesus is really helping us understand how we are to live out this thing we call following Jesus, Christianity. And um, interestingly enough, uh, Pastor Leah did a wonderful job of talking through that with us. And uh, one of the parts of that passage that I want to kind of dive into is the end of the passage, where Jesus is talking about to, to be um, righteous in the kingdom of heaven or to, uh, to gain access to the kingdom of heaven. And he says this, I say to you that unless your righteousness is greater than the righteousness of the legal experts and the Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You may say, wow, I mean, they knew their Bible. They knew, uh, they followed all the laws to the letter. And Jesus, you know, he talks about following the laws in this passage, but Jesus broke the laws all the time. He, um, he uh, healed people on the Sabbath day. He, um, he did all sorts of things that you would say, wait a minute, that doesn't fit. And then interestingly enough, in another uh, part of the Gospels, Jesus tells us who is righteous enough to enter the kingdom of heaven. So he says, you've got to be greater than the righteousness of the Pharisees and the legal experts, but you need to be as good as little children. So Jesus puts little children up here and the legal experts and the Pharisees here and says, you need to be better than the legal experts and the Pharisees and as good as little children. What is it? that Jesus is wanting for us? How are we supposed to abide by the law? What are we trying to uh, do when we live out the way of Jesus? You know, when we live out the way of Jesus, we are humbling ourselves. We're submitting to someone else. And we are realizing that we cannot do it on our own. You see, the Pharisees and the legal experts, that was their whole thing. We are going to become holy as a people because we are going to come together and we are going to do this the best we possibly can. And Jesus says, you need to leave those thoughts behind and humble yourself like a child, a child who uh, is needs his parents or needs their parents to to provide for them, to be there for them, needs the community to take care of them. When we humble ourselves and say that God is in charge and we are not, we are his children, we are not in charge like the Pharisees and the legal experts, then we move forward in our righteousness. You say, wait a minute, that doesn't sound like climbing the ladder of success. That's because it's the opposite of climbing the ladder of success. It's when we truly say, not our way, but God's way. Not my selfish understanding, not my uh, desire for power and for uh, being uh, the best, but saying, you know what, God, yours is the way that I'm going to follow, and I'm going to humble myself and follow after you. Thanks.